Hello guys, what's up? This is Kiki. Today we wanna watch a clip. It is Japan World Cup. This looks like a racing horse. Okay, let's give a shot. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Japan World Cup. I am your host, Michael Hee, and we are only minutes away now from an event that most of these riders have been preparing for for their entire lives. It's an absolutely beautiful day for a race, and we have eight of the top racers from around the globe ready to compete for the World Cup. It looks like they're lining up for the stable now. We have from Japan, number one, Daisuke Yamamoto, one of the younger racers out there today. And he's going to have to prove that he's ready for the big leagues. Uh-oh. And is that who I think it is? From Japan, it's Bungi Gungo. This guy is known for his trademark motorcycle horse. And now, representing America, we have the Dual Morse Riders. The Dual Morse Riders, of course, took uh, the gold medal in the 2008 Beijing Summer Olympics. Just incredible racers. Oh, no. Who let this guy in here? From Spain, it's number five, the brown bull. Is it that's the not Spanish even a horse. That's just blood? that's a guy on a bull. That's that's a giraffe. What the <laughs> fuck? What's a giraffe? And number eight from Japan. It is a man on a horse. Just a normal. All horse of the that, names that are there's nothing wrong with. And the interesting. <laughs> Taking the lead, followed by Bungi Gungo, and a third racer that I don't even remember entering the race at all. I don't even think I don't even think she's in the race. Trailing behind, well, of course, we have number four, the dual Morse racers. And it's anybody's game at this point. I mean, because it just started the race. Yeah, of course he's a now, if you look closely, you can see a man on the zebra what? making a bowing motion. And what is this? Desky <laughs> going for the advanced shuffleboard technique. I haven't seen this since 1987, and he wins it. He wins it using the using the increased oh my speed gosh. from the dancing motion He's of the, the horse. He's the boy. Yamamoto is able to secure a, an early victory. Wow. Truly, uh, <laughs> this guy is not joking around. I mean, this is a dude to watch out for in the upcoming. We're off again. It looks like Green is dismounting a zebra. No, he's flop he's actually flopping around that table like he's a fish. Just a just a groundbreaking move. But what is this? How it is looks he like the other races the are getting in on the action. Zebra. Too. Of course, Green's speed boost technique is oh now negated gosh. by the other dancers. But it looks like he what? has a secret plan up his sleeve as he starts to swing around the zebra's neck like he's what a helicopter propeller, and he starts to propel the zebra towards the finish line. <laughs> You see, this, is why, is... this is why he's a professional, and I'm not. I would have never thought to do that. that Riding, he's a genius. you know. He's one of the greatest riders out there. Funny, right? Like Boogie Gungo is spitting out there. And what is this? Number two <laughs> is just standing on top of number five. And right now, the Americans are thinking to themselves, I wish we would have <laughs> Oh my gosh, this what is chaotic. Is this? They're getting longer. The Morse is getting longer. It's a longer Morse. Oh my god. Oh that reminds God. me a dog. Absolutely it was like a big long torso dog. <laughs> Stupid giraffe slam his head up and down. Oh my his gosh, bones. giraffe! He's moving through the brakes like a madman. He can't be stopped. <laughs> Who won? I don't even know. We're gonna have to look at the slow motion replay. And if you look very carefully, you can see Whoa. that the jockey actually ran on top of the giraffe's head and crossed over the finish line. Now that's. That's a photo finish if, I, if I've ever seen one. That is a well-deserved victory right there. Wow. <laughs> uh oh What is the brown bowl up to? Oh, he's... Ole! Ole! He slips him out of there. He can, oh, and is the ball... Spanish the guy, guy. Uh -oh. And the ball stops. And he's not... And he's, now he's just eating grass. Oh. He's just sitting there eating grass. It, what if... A guy just ran under the field and won the race! <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> now entering uh, from China, number five, it's old man Raz Al Ghul, known for his unorthodox panda style racing, and his apprentice, Baby Al Ghul. New game? Looks like a, a new game. Ooh. On top of a little and hailing from Russia, number seven, Viktor Gongstein. That's just a, he's just riding a normal horse. The it's name in English, name in Japanese, are different. Stuff. Wait, maybe that's an elephant. What? Oh my gosh. Too much going on. It's just what so chaotic. But at what cost? 
because I'm pretty sure the jockey is dead and the elephant oh is just dragging gosh. the corpse along the field. Surprise, Yeti has entered the race and he jumps onto the he jumps onto the side of the Trojan horse and starts slamming the rider repeatedly onto the side of the horse and he ruins it forever. Uh -oh. What an asshole. It's looking like the robotic horse is having a malfunction there. He's going to have to take that in for a pit stop and that's going to hurt his lap time. Oh, wait a minute. He's got a it's big ass it. drill on, on the front of the it can't be! The Trojan what? horse is making a comeback! Could it? Could it? Could it? Ross Al Ghul, only towards the finish line, but what is this funky go You can't do that, that's a car! Passenger seat. Oh man, it's anybody's game at this point, but the Americans are falling behind! What are they doing? They're doing a weird move, and they're falling so far behind that it's a- Oh my Jesus! What? what? That was silly and fun. We have horse racing nearby my hometown too. And I've never been there as like a customer of horse racing since I think it's illegal for underage to watch horse racing. But since it's a community place, when we were little, we are, we had like a marathon inside of the horse racing area. I've done that. And I have some experience of riding a horse too. And it's really fun. I love riding a horse. Um, sometimes it's a little scary and hard, of course, but I like it too. This was so funny, interesting. <laughs> Um, it was definitely not just the horse racing, of course, it was more <laughs> exaggerated. And it, I see so many human legs, so like I don't think it's even a horse racing actually, but it was so fun. And I think JRA sounds familiar to me. It might be actually like the association of horse racing is kind of like that. And then it made it, it's, it's a comedy video, but the narrator and everything was perfect. So it looks, it, it sounds serious. They have so many names that's like in Japanese funny and in English they translated a little bit different too. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please click the subscribe and the like button below. And if you have any recommendations, please let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye. Thank you for watching my video. If you like this video, please click the like button below and subscribe to my channel. Bye bye.